I worked chili. at Sonic. <laughs> so the Frito chili pie is a real thing. Now, the Sonic chili, it's not that good. If you saw it, the way it looked when it started, you probably would never eat it. I was going to ask you, what's your favorite way to enjoy chili? Uh, I would say my favorite is just the old traditional bowl of chili with beans. Standard with yeah. beans. I'm a bean guy. I don't want it like the bean ratio skewed. I like a couple pounds of meat and then a can or two of beans, and that's about yeah. it. And I grew up eating those chili hot beans in it. It's a can that you can get. I don't know what brand it is. That's probably my favorite. It's probably use. Bush's chili hot beans i mean and kroger has like their generic chili hot bean or whatever but that's what my mom always used and it just it, to me that's a bowl of chili how do you prepare it i'm pretty standard Salt chili beans. crackers a little bit of shredded cheddar over the top that's okay. how i want to eat my chili go out if i have them i don't usually remember to buy them but the little oyster crackers are my Ooh. favorite and i used to i forget who it was that used to serve them it may, it may have been i don't think it was wendy's Wherever you got them, and there was be a little pack of oyster crackers yeah. that would come. I always like those, but I'm just, and that's a traditional bowl of chili to me. So no sour cream. No, I don't. Now I will do all that too. I'll jazz it up, but if I, if I just had to pick, yeah, you're. I'm, I'm just gonna saying eat me a bowl of chili, regular some chili, a little cheese with some crackers. That's all I need. I and I want my chili in the bowl like that on the runny side. I don't want a thick, like, hot dog chili. Yeah. I want one that's got, it's almost like, not soup, but, you know, it has some it has some moisture, some liquid to it. I like, I like that's that's just so good to me. To me, a hot dog chili is more like a meat sauce kind of. Kind of, yeah. And it usually don't have beans. Like, if I'm eating hot yeah. dog chili, I don't want beans. It's all it. one texture. If I'm going Mexican style, which is what I call, I don't, do they, does the, the, the Mexican cuisine, do they have, like, just a chili they eat in a bowl? I don't know. It might be a Tex-Mex thing. Yeah. But when I think of that, that's where I add the sour cream or the crema, slices of avocados, jalapeno on it, maybe pico, cilantro. jazz it all up, cilantro, you know, all that goes on. And that's a good chili, too. But, I mean, I, I think, for me, most part, just a regular bowl. How I grew up, it was good. You like chili dogs? I love them. <laughs> did y'all grow up with Fritos and you're using Fritos I worked chili? at Sonic. <laughs> So the Frito chili pie is a real thing. And I know how to make them now. The Sonic chili, it's not that good. It was this, fro if you saw it, the way it looked when it started, you probably would never eat it. It's like in this white tub and it's froze. And then you kind of slop it out. You got to work it out. And it looks like something they would feed like the tigers at the zoo. You know, it's like this extruded stuff. And you put it in this pan and a steamer and it cooks down and it makes this chili sauce. But they really do use Fritos. And it's not the big scoop size Fritos. Yeah. It's got to be the little It's regular Fritos, and you kind of break them up a little bit, and you put your chili over that, and you laid a slice of American cheese over that, and you stuck it in the <laughs> yeah. steamer, and it melted it down. And so I would I would do it at home in the microwave. Ooh, that's I love I love Frito chili pie. I like it with finely chopped onion and a little yeah. jalapeno over it. I saw somebody on the community page, Michael from the com community, shared a picture, and he did a smoked Texas chili, but he stuffed it into a baked potato. Oh. And then he topped it with, you know, cheese yeah, and yeah, 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 red yeah, onion. Yeah, that's so. good. So, have you ever done a chili cheese burger? Chili cheese burger is good. No, I don't think I ever. You have. do use the hot. You do use hot dog chili because you can't. You don't need a yeah. runny chili. Yeah. But it goes right on top of the burger, and you put cheese over, it and it melts down. And it's it's a forker. It ain't really yeah. a picking up. You ain't eating it driving <laughs> down the road. You need to be sitting at a table. I'm doing. I'll, so there you go. I'm gonna have to do a chili cheese burger. I would be definitely a good try it. Would you do Blackstone? I could see it working on the Blackstone. Yeah, the burgers would work great. I wouldn't make my yeah. chili on the. You Blackstone. wouldn't do like a sloppy Joe chili style. I could freeze it, it in like a a butter bowl, and like <laughs> could do it Sonic style, or just slurp it out of the <laughs> bowl and have it just like me a tray sitting on the Blackstone that it's just gonna go in the little lid. Yeah, <laughs> like one of those steam pan. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> There's my chili on the side. A chili cheeseburger just... It's good. It's really good. It sounds delicious. It sounds like heartburn, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better prolisec up or whatever you got to do days in advance to get ready for that gut bomb. <laughs> I mean, yeah. chili's like that now. It'll yeah. work on you. You got you to gotta know what you're going to be doing for the next day when you're going to commit to eating some chili. <laughs> it's not Especially if you double down. Yeah. Do a dog and a bowl. Oh, man. You're asking for it. <laughs>